See you tomorrow. I don't know. I hate it. And I like I'm afraid to tell anyone because I don't want them to try to fix it and make it worse or like make it really hot. Oh, really? Hmm. I've heard it's the same in Mr. Bandiera's room as well. I'm miserable. Oh, I dance with somebody. I'm a field of heat with somebody. Oh, I thought you had band practice this period. It says seventh period, David Madison, Hunter, Tom Sterling. <laughs> Oh my god, how cute.
Hi, folks. Hello. Ooh. Sleepy, sleepy today. Everybody is virtual. Madison is in band rehearsal. Okay, so this week is going to be like fairly boring, just like going over essay stuff and making sure that we, mm, Rutherford Falls, I don't think I have. Is that a place or a show or a movie or a video game or <laughs> a book, a show? I don't think so. Is it good? Oh, um, is that his new show that's on Peacock? That's why I didn't, yeah, I, I like I'm not a peacock person yet, but I think um, I think I have somebody I can mooch off of. Um, and if he's in it, it's got to be pretty good. Love that guy. When the sleepy town gets an unexpected wake up call. Okay. Do I, do I know who Michael Schur is? I mean, I probably do. Oh yeah, this guy's face looks familiar. Okay, okay. Oh, it's Moe's. Oh, okay. That's why he looks familiar. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. I get it, I get it. Uh, okay, What's it, what we're going to do today actually is, I'm sure you guys know there are some quizzes for this class that I did not have us do, uh, and I'm not going to, but we're just going to kind of go through the one about research together, um, research essay formatting and sources, and I think that most of them will be pretty easy. I'm going to show you one of the, or at least one of them, because it's like, which one of these is um, better? Um, but some of them are true, false, some of them are multiple choice. So true or false, and this is in regards to your research essay about fences. True or false, you need at least two secondary academic sources for this essay. Um, true. That is true. Wait, this is one of the quizzes we're not doing? We're not doing it. We're just oh, going okay. through it together today just to see if you guys know. So pay attention so you don't do something wrong on the essay. Um, your works cited, true or false, your works cited page will have the play from the textbook and at least two secondary sources on it for a total of three entries. Yes. True. That is true. All right, this is the one that I'm gonna show you. Um, and this is actually worth um, writing down, taking a picture of something. Which of these is the correct citation for the play in the textbook? And like, you guys have not seen the textbook, but if you cite it this way, that's absolutely perfect. It second one. Yeah. Yes, the second one. You cite it that way, you're golden. If you want to take a screenshot or something to remind yourself, or this is always uh, available on Zoom later. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing. Close, come on. Okay, true or false? You can have an entire paragraph of plot summary unrelated to your thesis in this essay. Um, no. No, you cannot. You can have some summary and probably best to get most of your summary over quickly. Hi. Uh, but it's got to be related to your thesis. This is 18 questions, by the way. Okay. Um, true or false? The absolute minimum number of direct quotes per body paragraph is one. You should include at least one cited quote in each paragraph. Is that true or false? Um, true. true. That is true. Good, good. 
Okay, true or false? The quotes from the criticism you select, meaning the secondary sources, should be plot summary. Uh, no. No, they should not be. Okay. This is multiple choice. Which of the following statements is true of your introductory paragraph? A, it should discuss the play in general terms, giving the reader background and a basic plot summary. B, it should be a biography of the author. C, it should include cited quotes from the critics. Or D, it should be at least a page long. What in the world? <laughs> yeah, I'd say A. Think. You would say A. Yeah. A. Yes, it is A. If it was a page long, I'd lose it. Not that I haven't seen those kinds of things before. Um, true or false? Each paragraph should have a topic sentence that is a fact from the plot of the play. Wait, say <coughs> True or false? I'm joking. Bless Wait. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Each paragraph okay. should have a topic sentence that is a fact from the plot of the play. That's a fact? Mm hmm oh. Like a uh, like summary kind of fact. Oh, no. No. No, it should not. Most of these are true or false, by the way. Um, true or false, each paragraph's topic sentence should have an argument which relates to your thesis statement that you will prove in that paragraph. Yes. Nope. True, yes. If you do that, it will be beautiful. Mm. True or false, I mean, I kind of hate this question, but true or false, you can use first person I in this essay. Mm. You shouldn't. You, you shouldn't. Yes, you're correct. You should not. Um, it is false. I can see a time when you might be able to like work in some sort of anecdote, I guess, like the first time I read this, I don't know. Um, avoid it though, unless you're like, yeah, I've really found a good use for it. Um, so then this one should be easy. True or false? you should stay in third person when writing this essay. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, what is the, this is a multiple choice. Actually, this is a really funny multiple choice. What is the minimum word count for this essay excluding the work cited page? Is it 2000 words, 1000 words, five pages, or five million words you'll never stop writing? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, no. B. B is correct. It, 1,000 words. It actually does say 5 million words. You'll never stop writing. <laughs> How boring. I don't want to talk about, I don't want to write about the same thing for the rest of my life. Uh, <laughs> instead of true or false, the options here are, nah, you're good, or yes, of course. Do you need a work cited page turned in with your final draft? Yes, of course. Yes, of yes. Of course. Of course, of course. Um, okay, this is multiple choice. Why should you use Trident's library databases for your research rather than just the internet? Is it because A, all the sources have been, che have been checked for reliability? B, the sources are considered academic or college level. C, the citation for the sources have been done for you. Or D, all of the above. All of the above. All, all, all of the above, always. Uh, almost always. There was that one time that it wasn't, but for, mo for most of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. I feel like just with the way that this one is worded, it's gonna be obvious, but I'll give you the options anyway. 
which of the following databases is not acceptable for use on this essay? Is it A, Schmoop, Sparknotes, or Scribed? B, Films on Demand? C, Literary Research Center? Or D, Bloom's Literature? Wait, what's not allowed? Yes. Hey. A is correct. Schmoop, spark notes, and scribe. I thought that one was kind of easy because it gave you multiple ones in the same answer. And then all the others were just one. But um, okay, multiple choice. What is a scholarly source? A, a source produced by credentialed experts. B, a source aimed at other experts disseminating specialized and discipline specific information. C, a source which is also called an academic or peer reviewed source. Or D, all of the above. I wasn't, wait. Let me share my screen so you can see those. Sometimes it's just easier to see. A scholarly source. All of the above? All of the above is correct. All of these things are scholarly sources. Or all of those is what it means to be a scholarly source. Okay, two questions left. True or false? In this essay, you should really focus on Wilson's fascinating biography and how it relates to the play. No. No. No, you should not. No. And last one. Critics should be used for, this is a multiple choice. Critics should be used for all of the following except which of these things? A, you make an assertion and a critic agrees with that assertion. B, you wish to contrast your interpretation with someone else's. C, a critic makes a strong statement that helps you lead into your own point. Or D, a critic gives a good summary of the plot of the play or a fact about the play. D. D. D, yes, you use critics for everything except for that not summarizing here now come on um okay so like i said this week's gonna be pretty boring because i feel like i already went over a lot of the stuff about like how to format your paper and how to find good sources and everything i'll review some of that each day this week um but i wanted to point out your thesis is due tomorrow um not everybody turned in a thesis for the first essay that we did and that's not the end of the world you don't actually get a grade just for turning in a thesis but um those of you who did turn in thesis theses um you'll know that i was able to give commentary on it and say like either this is totally fine the way it is proceed or here's one or two things that you might want to change in order to set the rest of your paper up for success so i do recommend that you do that um but that's it for today very short very short time today i want to give you the rest of the time to work on your essays and getting your thesis done um so you guys can go except for julius we got to figure out how to get me your essay um no we're watching it next week I, I thought we lost somebody. It was Isaiah. Um, but everyone else, I y'all can y'all can go and I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, Julius, how can we do this? Um, I'm not sure. So what I did on I think it's on my laptop. I put it like on a flash drive and then put it on my laptop to okay. put it into, into what's it called? Docs. Yeah. Or, okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Mm-hmm. 
do you have it in any form on the on the computer you're using? Uh, no. Okay. Hmm. Um, and I, I used, I did this at school. I used um, like a flash drive mic. Let me use okay. for like a few minutes. He wouldn't still have that and it's on there. No. Okay. Unfortunately not. Okay. But let me just find it. Did we try? Mm. No, that doesn't actually make sense. Never mind. I'm just, I'm so confused why I wouldn't have gotten it through email because I can get outside emails. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. It might be just because it's like, just because of the file. I, don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. Right Maybe. Uh oh. Um, okay, the the way that you have it, is it a Google Doc or like a, a document file or what? It's a PDF file. Oh, well then. Should I just try to send you the PDF right now from my laptop? Like through the school email? Might as well try, yeah. Okay. Worst that can happen is I just still don't have it, so. Oh my gosh, I think I have it. Wait a minute. The 20th of what? You have it? Hang on. It's showing me a blank PDF. <laughs> really? Wait, look. can you show me? Yeah, one sec. So this is what it looks like. And then when I open it, it's just- What like, the heck? I don't understand why the universe doesn't want me to have this. What in the- That's why I was so confused when I got it on the, um, on the mail app because it says there's an attachment, but then there's nothing. What? The <laughs> what? What sense does this make? Hold on. I'm so confused. Oh, 
Don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't mean to add that to my Google Drive. It's not anything. <laughs> Okay, but what Ew, was that the wrong one? Hold on. Was it was it called short? Was it called sh short story? Uh huh. What the? And if you have like you have that, a little story that's a different thing. I think so. It's it's not on my desktop. It's somewhere in my finder. I need to let me find it again. No, that's nope, 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 that's not it. What the heck? Oh, yeah. And it was only one page. Mm -hmm. It only showed the what? It only showed the one, one blank page. Oh my god! I it's so annoying switching from Windows to uh, to Mac. Oh yeah, because the format is like almost completely different. It is annoying. That's so okay. weird. What the heck? Hey. Uh, no, no one in person. Um, Madison's here, but she has band practice. So, and now I'm just trying to figure out with Julius why I can't get his essay. <laughs> We've been trying this for like a while now. But for some reason, I can't just like can't get it. Yeah. I am done with this day yes. it's only monday wash i'm just gonna let it i'm just gonna let it go yeah i don't want them messing it up <laughs> yeah like i can i can live i have my blanket i've been bringing my coat every day i'm all right if I get too cold, I'll go in Sarah's room for a little bit between classes. <laughs> I saw her working on hers today, so maybe yeah. hers will finally yeah, be like it. not miserable. Oh, I know. I'm excited. We just leave. I know. Yeah. Just go home and relax. <laughs> Okay, I just opened it with um, with Google Chrome and it's blank with a single text box. Weird. Um, do you think if I... What the... I mean, it should be the same at any rate, but maybe if I check my email in Safari, would it be different? Yeah, I mean, you can try, but I think that's just like stuff. Like, um... Websites. Also, Safari is apparently not wanting to let me check my email. Uh, sure, save my password. I don't care.
cooperate with me, please. Uh, no, that did not help. That's just the blank one again. Okay. Okay, I just sent you, I think I sent it in a different format. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is looking more promising. Wait a minute. <laughs> I might've spoken too soon. Well, hang on. Couldn't preview for, okay, can I download it? I don't understand why it, it's like error failed to load. What? I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> what is that even? I don't even know. Okay, so look, I'm gonna show you. If I open it in mail. What the heck? It does this. Mm. The file type has been damaged or was it, I don't even know. What, what that means. And then if I open it this way, it does this and I download it and it just does that again. What? I don't understand. Can I? Oh my God. It? And then it did this. Can you like, can you open it on your computer? I just I just tried to open it from my from my sent mail and the same thing happened. What's going on? I don't Because can you, like, do you have it on PDF or whatever that if you can open it, you can read it? Um, on my laptop? Yeah. I think, yeah, I mean, it should be in the, in the PDF. Send, hold on. This is so weird. What? what? Now it's now it's the blank one. What is happening? What is that the? You're staying. What is this? What the 
Alter. I just want to give you a grade for your work. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Not supported file type or the file has been damaged. I don't know what that means. Can you like put it on Google Drive and share it with me? Or is that just going to do the same thing because it's PDF? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Drive does something to it. Oops. Okay, just shared it with you on from my drive. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, no, it's done the same thing. Oh my. Like it doesn't show any text. No. It's so weird too, because it says couldn't preview file. You may be offline or with limited connectivity, which is not true and says try downloading instead. But then if you download it, it's like error. You can't do this. Um, can I look at it through here? No. Come on. This is not doing anything. Oh my God. Oh my. I tried to open it this other way and it's not doing anything. Okay. I think. You can try again to send it from your, just to email it from your other, your personal computer. I didn't get it the first time, so I'm not sure what the deal is there.
I think, okay, so when I downloaded it to submit it on the Trident thing mm -hmm. on my personal computer, I downloaded it and then as I was submitting it, I think, or before I submitted it, our power flickered. Oh. So maybe it was. Awesome. I think it. Oh my god. What did you originally do it on? Um, uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's some text okay. thing on, on my on my computer. Okay. Um. But I think it. Because I just looked up, like why, that happens when when it's um. Whatever happens, whatever why you couldn't open it and like. Yeah. Whatever and it says like a connection or whatever or that it might be corrupted and I was like how would it be corrupted because yeah. I thought that only happens, like when you, um when it when you try to put it onto like a disc yeah um but hmm. okay i don't know what else to try If you are able to open it on your personal computer at any point, you could even like take pictures of it or something like that. If you can't find a way to give it to me at all, um, I'd let you redo it and like have however long you want to, because this is obviously such a weird situation yeah. to try to get anything done. I just, I can't think of what else to do. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I I can try to see if there's some some software to do that. Um, but if I if I do end up having to to rewrite it, that's fine. I mean, okay, it's whatever. Yeah, I mean that would suck since you have already put the work in. But I can't grade an essay I don't have. Yeah. Like, yeah. If Mike has any suggestions, I can ask him for like if he knows any any kind of um like any procedures or any so any anything he knows that could okay re resalvage or whatever yeah he probably knows more than either of us so. <laughs> yeah. all right we'll see what we can do and see if he has any ideas and we'll get it solved at some point yes <laughs> all, right. all right well i'll let you go then thanks for hanging on and trying yeah, of course. I'll see you tomorrow. See you.